Hey guys, it's your sister in Christ, Jennifer. I'm just coming on real quick because it's heavy on my heart to let everyone know that Jesus loves you so much. No matter what, no matter what you're indulging in, no matter what addictions you have, whether it be food, alcohol, cigarettes, crack, meth, heroin, it doesn't matter. Sex, if you're having uh, sex with all types of people or no matter what, it doesn't matter. Like Jesus already paid the penalty on the cross. He shed his blood for you personally. He personally carried your sins in his body on the cross so that you can be dead to sin and live for righteousness. Jesus Christ um, is God in the flesh. He came down from his throne in heaven, was born up by the power of the Holy Spirit, by a virgin, in a manger on the ground, humbly, the God of the whole universe was born into a human and he came and walked this earth and carried your sins because God is holy and he carries our sins in his body on the cross and he was tortured, beat, whipped and murdered. And on the third day, God rose him from the grave and he is alive now, seated at the right hand of God. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you no matter what. It doesn't matter. Don't not go to the Lord because of something that you're doing. Whether it be you don't want to stop smoking. You don't want to stop drinking. Whatever it is that you're doing, don't allow that to be the reason for you not to believe in Jesus. Because... At that very moment that you pray and you believe that you're a sinner and you believe that Jesus loves you and that he shed his blood for you, as soon as you ask Jesus to come into your heart to be your Lord and Savior, he changes you. And I'm just here to let you know that God loves you so much and um, the judgment of God is at the door. It's getting ready to start and um, we, we, we reap what we sow. So if you've been reaping in wickedness, it's time to, I mean, I'm sorry, if you've been sowing in wickedness, it's time to stop and repent and turn to Jesus and believe in Jesus and ask for forgiveness of your sins because the wrath is about to be poured out on the world, on the wickedness. And um, God loves you so much that he made a way out of no way that you do not have to have that judgment. You can be... Uh, cleared of all of your sins you can be made clean and holy and righteous just by believing in Jesus so today I encourage you and I want to tell you that I love you so much whoever you are out there in the world God has laid you on my heart today and um, I'm here to make a video to let you know that God loves you when I came to God I was on heroin crack meth and I was stealing from stores all day, every day for 20 years. I was doing tarot cards, witchcraft, and all kinds of really bad stuff. And um, demons started attacking me. And um, I could, every time I tried to go to sleep, I was getting suffocated and attacked by demons. And I fell on my knees and I confessed all my sins and I cried out to Jesus Christ. And I said, Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you shed your blood for me. And on the third day, you rose from the grave. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. And I just started talking to God. And God filled me up with his Holy Spirit. And he um, started helping me do self-deliverance. And um, the Holy Spirit rose up and started uh, rebuking witchcraft, rebuking Satan. And I got delivered, I got set free um, by the blood in the name of Jesus. And ever since then, God has changed my life. He has um, all, all the bad things that I was doing back then, my life was destroyed. It was messed up. But everything um, that the enemy meant for evil was turned around for the good. And now, God has given me my children back. God blessed me with an amazing husband. Um, I was homeless all my life. Now I'm not homeless anymore. I have a nice car. I have a nice house. 
I can go on and on of all of the amazing blessings that God has bestowed upon me and all the answered prayers that he has given me ever since I believed in Jesus Christ. I'm just telling a little bit of my testimony because um, I want you to know that when I came to Jesus, I was shooting up with needles and doing all kinds of disgusting things. But whoever's watching this, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Just start calling out to God. Start calling out to God and Jesus Christ. And um, I'm telling you, he can hear you. He loves you so very much. You personally, individually, he was thinking about you. When he um, went to that cross and uh, poured out his blood, um, he was thinking about you. He wants to give you eternal life forever in the kingdom of God with no more evil and he wants to clear your record of sin it says blessed is the man whose uh, sins are cleared yes what joy is it for those whose disobedience have been forgiven and how do we get our sins and our disobedience forgiven just by believing in the blood of Jesus Christ so God um, has placed it on my heart to come on here and let you know that he loves you very, very much. He wants to give you eternal life and um, he wants uh, you to be set free from all of the demonic attacks, witchcraft and um, all of the addictions and everything. It says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So if you want to be saved, please say this prayer with me right now. So we're going to clear out the atmosphere. And Jesus, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our atmosphere right now, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome your Holy Spirit here. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just come before you on behalf of whoever is watching this video, Lord. And I lift them up to you right now, Father God. Lord, I ask that you send your holy warring angels over them, Lord Jesus. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over them. Yes, Lord Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you would just uh, place a wall of fire around them. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost fire around them right now in Jesus' name. I bind up Satan and any demons right now in the name and the blood of Jesus. And I cast you to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. I command that you go and you flee and you loose this person right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I command that you go. In Jesus' name. So, say this prayer with me if you want to be saved and receive eternal life and freedom. Just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Jesus, I have sinned against you. I'm sorry for my sins. I ask that you would please forgive me of my sins, Lord Jesus. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you rose on the third day from the grave and you are alive now, seated at the right hand of God. I believe in you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, please come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I accept you into my heart right now, dear Jesus. I ask that you would lead me and guide me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. So, if you said that prayer with me, and you mean it in your heart, I want to welcome you to the kingdom of God. And I want to tell you that God has placed you on my heart today to do this prayer. And whoever you are, I love you. Jesus loves you more. And I, I'm so happy that you made this best decision of your life. God bless you. Get you a holy Bible. Pray and read that Bible because Jesus wants to speak to you. I love you and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.